All right, here's my uh, Lodos uh, CT520D, which is the 200 amp TIG welder, the 50 amp plasma cutter, and a 200 amp stick cutter, stick um, welder, I'm sorry. Now, I just had an old cart, just an old tool cart, so I decided to turn it into a, a welding cart. And uh, what I did was I traced I traced the welding bottle on the top shelf, cut it out, and then I sliced a piece of uh, rubber hose. You can use garden hose, vacuum line, whatever, just to put around the edge so, so it be, wouldn't be a metal edge against the tank. And slipped it, and f put the uh, tank down in there, and it sits on the bottom shelf. And then what I did was, on this machine, if you want to switch from plasma cutter to TIG welder, you, they both use the same outlet right here for your torch for the plasma or the torch for the TIG. So you have to disconnect this, disconnect the line, the electrical line, this, is, this being the gas line, and then swap it there. But there was only one uh, gas line coming in in the back, so which... Uh, was also air for the plasma or argon for the TIG. So if you switched it over, you also had to switch over in the back. And that was undoing the hose clamp, pulling the hose off the barb, sticking another hose. You know, and I didn't want to do that. Now, there is a conversion kit available to make it easier to switch over, but I like doing things myself, making my own. So this is what I did. I went on eBay and I bought a three-way valve. Okay, and it's mounted right here. This is the common port. In other words, something comes in from here or here and goes out there. Or vice versa, something comes in here and you can direct it this way or you can direct it that way. But the way I'm using it as two inputs, one output. Okay? So the output goes to the back of the welder with a hose clamp so that stays permanent it comes over here it stays on the valve permanent now I made a I made a bracket it has two uh, 1024 holes already tapped into the valve so I just made a little bracket here and welded it on here put the two screws in there and that that holds it solid to the uh, cart then the air dryer and air regulator that you use for the plasma I just used uh, a piece of short quarter inch pipe it's you know it's tapped quarter inch on either side of these valves the valve this valve is the one I bought is a quarter inch on all three ports so over here I put the air valve with a quick disconnect so I can use the compressor for any air tools or air gun or anything but when I'm plasma cutting I just stick it on here okay and then I use a quick disconnect over here on this side the other the other side that I'm using as an input and that comes around and that goes to the gas now that that'll pretty much stay connected but I thought it might be a good idea to make it a, a quick disconnect if I ever have to uh, remove it without taking it all apart all here so what I do now is and I got it marked here. When the valve is this way, it's plasma, meaning it's allowing air to come in through here and go into the welder. When I turn the valve this way, it allows the argon to come in through here and out here, and it, it shuts it off over here. So it allows the argon to go in and into the welder that way. So I'm either TIG welding, like that, and all I got it, I really would like to, over here, is put another one of these and permanently permanently mount it. I don't know, I don't know how it'd have to do. Maybe put an electric valve in here so it would shut off one end to the other. But for now, this is what I gotta do. Then all I have to change is here. I just undo this, undo that, pull it off, put the plasma on, and then use the plasma, go back to TIG. Pull, undo this, undo that, put it back, put the plasma one on. So it's just back and forth there. But right here, this is where it really simplified it. TIG welding, 
plasma cutting and that's it and I don't have to do a, do anything else to the back just change the torches and I think I think it was like about I think the valve was like uh, 18 19 dollars and uh, I had all the quick disconnects and stuff like that so it was it was cheap and I, I think they sell one at iWeld or uweld.com or something like that they said it was thirty five dollars for the for the conversion kit and I made it myself for you know certainly no more than twenty five but uh, that's that and the and it the plasma cutter works great and uh, the TIG welder works great and uh, the one thing I didn't understand though on the web website for Laudos they're welders depending on what link you clicked on and what page you're on you get different prices I mean one page had a uh, had the foot pedal for ninety dollars uh, the welder was like five fifty six fifty seven fifty there was it was all over the place but I ended up getting uh, this welder with the foot pedal and all the consumables and the plasma cutter and the torches and everything I needed uh, delivered right to my door for 650 bucks. And uh, the thing works great. I just I just hope it uh, it's there are I got to tell you though there are some really cheap cheesy parts here. The they give you uh, the hose connections a uh, quarter a uh, five sixteenths barb two quarter inch pipe thread those things are junk you know you I, I had one just hand threaded in while I was trying to uh, I had one hand threaded in the valve and I was holding the valve and I was trying to tighten up the other one and it snapped off and, and the threads were still inside the thing it's really thin they're chintzy and their hose clamps are real chintzy too if you tighten them up too much they just disintegrate so Get some uh, some decent hose clamps and some decent fittings in there, and uh, it'd be okay. I just hope the internals of this thing will be uh, fairly reliable. So that's it. It's my welding car. Oh, and I welded a piece of exhaust tubing here, and another piece down the bottom with a plate. And this is where I keep my uh, TIG welding rods in a plastic bag. But that's my uh that's my welder. Cool.